Cowboy Bebop is one of, if not my all-time favorite anime. Many people share this opinion with me, and for good reason. Everything comes to life in this show, and there's just nothing else like it. Something like this, of course, can't be done without memorable characters. The show has a following amongst millions, and of course, like anything with the following, there's merchandise. In Cowboy Bebop's case, however, there's very little, not including the games, the movie, the DVDs, Blu-rays, and VHS tapes, which are all more physical media than merchandise, it's difficult to get your hands on anything Bebop related. Let's head to the Crunchyroll merchandise shop and see what they have. You got your typical shirts, they got a notebook, a binder, a tin pencil holder, are they trying to get me ready for school? Oh look, they have these things. I never really thought much of these Funko Pop figures. I see them at Barnes & Noble, GameStop, wherever else, and I just knew they weren't for me because the ones you always see on the store shelves are of Harry Potter, Star Wars, Marvel, all kinds of franchises that already has thousands and thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. As a result, I only ever thought of them as more figures of, for properties I could easily walk into any toy section and get action figures and plush toys for if I ever felt the urge to do so. Eventually, I realized they make them for Cowboy Bebop characters, characters from a series that isn't as commercialized as many other licenses that get the Funko Pop treatment. I became intrigued and started looking for them whenever I came across a display of them at the store. No look until eventually, I began my collection with Jet. I found him at Trader's World, a flea market in Monroe, Ohio. After being satisfied with my purchase of my figure of Jet, I decided I wanted a figure of every character aboard the Bebop, so I ordered Spike off of Amazon, and Ned and Faye from Toys R Us. Now that they're all here, it's time to see how I feel towards these big-headed, small-bodied interpretations of these characters from a series that means so much to me. They all sit on top of my record player that I barely ever use, right in front of my paper mache doodle bob that I made in high school. Sorry, lady, but we don't protect or serve. This is strictly business. Let's start with the figure of Spike. I'll be judging these figures by how well they capture the character's design and personality, which, in Spike's case, it's pretty spot on. His hair is just as messy as it looks in the show, and they did a really good job getting his suit down. Everything down to the loose tie and the yellow shirt looks great. My favorite detail about this figure is his little cigarette, something he often had with him in the show. His other hand disappears into his pocket, another common position for him. His eyebrows are even a bit hunched to make him look moody, which doesn't reflect the show perfectly, but this might just be the way it looks thanks to the lack of forehead space. Up next is Jet. I hate stories like that. Men only think about the past right before their death, as if they were searching frantically for proof that they were alive. They did a really good job of making an asymmetric figure here. Jet's metal arm, metal piece on his cheek, and scar on his right eyebrow are all nice details, but it wouldn't be Jet without any of that either. The main thing that makes this figure stand out from the other three is the fact that his eyebrows actually stand out instead of being painted on. The design on the back of the jacket is still there too. It's a bit of a walking pose, but it's not very noticeable. Then we have Faye. Shoot them before they shoot you. Faye's figure is probably my absolute favorite of the four. Her hair and outfit are nailed perfectly. Everything is here, including her red overcoat that she wears around her arms, and her nearly flesh-colored stockings. They gave her sharp eyelashes, too. She's even in a sassy pose. It represents her character very well, and she translates very well to this style. She doesn't look as adult, however. The lack of detail in her eyes does take away the, her mid-twenties look, if that makes any sense. And I feel like I'm looking at a teenager version of Faye, but that's only because of the art style. Last but not least is Ed. Lesson, lesson. If you see a stranger, follow him. I've been pretty positive up until now, but so I think it's time for some criticism. Ed is my favorite character in the show. Heck, she's been my profile picture on my old channel for years now. She's the most cartoony and least detailed design in terms of clothes. In the show, that makes for a character design with cute animation, but it makes for a boring figure. Alongside the other figures, she looks great, but alone, the problem is the lack of detail. They got her hair down pretty well, and by far the best thing about this figure is the lenses on her goggles are actually see-through, which is a nice touch that I didn't even expect. I go right back to criticism, though, because there's nothing to represent her character here. She's not holding anything, she's not in a goofy pose like she'd normally be in the show. She's just standing there with no expression, something she'd never do. A big part of what made Edward so fun was that she had so many different facial expressions, and these things only ever have one expression, which is nothing because they have big, lifeless bug eyes. She just needs something more to justify her being a figure like this. 
She could have been holding the controller to the miniature ship she was flying around when first introduced, or she could have simply been in a pose. But instead, they decided to do nothing with her. Not to mention, this one is the most difficult to get to stand up on its own. I am glad, however, they made a figure of her at all. In conclusion, I only take interest in these pop figures if they make them for characters that I really feel I really want standing in my room, which is a rare case for the Bebop crew. Some of these Funko Pops are pretty cool, while others are downright weird. I'm pretty happy with the four I have, but it might be a while before I buy any more of them.